Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. I hope you all had a great trading week and uh, yeah, we're looking forward for the upcoming trading week. Uh, as usual, we're going to take a look at all the measures including gold and oil. And uh, while I roll the intern disclaimer, please hit the like button for me. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys as you see um, not much of a news event on the calendar for the upcoming week uh, we do have uh, Monday gonna be uh, slow since we have uh, bank holiday for the UK and bank holiday for the US so Monday not for trading much uh, Tuesday we have uh, uh, BOC uh, governor Paulus to speak we have a financial stability report from New Zealand uh, ECP Lagarde to to speak also on Wednesday. Thursday we have uh, private capital expenditure for the uh, Aussie and the prelim GDP quarter and quarter for the US. Friday CAD GDP month and month and uh, Fed Chair Powell uh, speak again. So um, yeah, those are uh, the news events. As I said, not much of uh, events uh, on, the, uh, on the calendar for the upcoming week. Let's look at the chart. We start with the Dixie as usual. We are on the daily time frame, and as you see, the dollar is still uh, ranging um, inside this range here. Still, not much uh, have changed on the longer term. Uh, as far as this uh, range is not broken, we will keep seeing the same um, uh, scenario going on by the low sell the high uh, kind of thing until we have a breakout. Uh, the range is getting a little bit smaller now, so we are trading inside this range instead for the bigger one. And um, yeah, seems like monthly or one area, this level up here at around the uh, 140 is still uh, the key structure area to keep an eye at. Uh, for the dollar uh, last week Thursday was um, was an inside uh, bar and Friday we had a close um, above that so there is a potential continuation to the upside here at least short term after this nice uh, bottom uh, that uh, we've got on the one hour time frame we've got a breakout and now making some kind of flag so um, keep an eye on this area where we have the monthly pivot point uh, I'm thinking for possibility of this market to uh, continue to the upside if we get a retest to the monthly pivot point and this uh, structure that we have uh, down here at this level we do have uh, some tests at this level previously as both uh, support and resistance so um, keep an eye on this area if got tested next week uh, then we may see some kind of continuation from uh, this level on the dollar oil still uh, to be considered bullish daily time frame uh, the price is still holding above uh, this structure here which was an important structure and as i told you last week we may see a retest of this level at around the 35 30 uh, 36 area so um, keep an eye on that any retest back down toward this level here at around the 2850 look for that possible continuation this retest could be uh, a good level for the bulls uh, to watch because uh, it would be uh, a retest to uh, an area that we had uh, resistance previously and uh, support level so this uh, 29 to 30 level is a good resistance level so if got tested next week keep an eye on that for a possible bounce from uh, this area back to the upside uh, to test the 36 uh, 36 level gold still um, not really um, trending yet we had uh, an attempt to break higher here but it failed and it got rejected from the monthly r1 got pushed down uh, failed to make a new high after that followed by a bearish engulfing candle on thursday friday was a bit of a correction move so uh, all in all for gold we have this impulse a lower high another break and uh, we could continue for um, at least one leg uh, toward this area or maybe even lower toward the monthly pivot point on uh, this market so uh, as far as the gold is holding below the uh, 1740 level uh, 
I think we may see some more downside or maybe even more toward uh, the monthly pivot uh, as well on uh, this market. First structure of support could be down here at this level at around the uh, 60, uh, 1697 area. That is a potential uh, short term support. EURUSD same as the Dixie still going sideways uh, nothing new here we do have this range and it is still um, not broken we had um, one test uh, on this level here uh, previously on the daily another uh, attempt that failed and now last week we had another failed attempt to break higher so uh, uh, euro may uh, go back all the way down and test the monthly s1 and this previously uh, the bottom of the range but if we look on the four hour time frame and the one hour time frame there is a potential uh, support level here starting with the for hour we see that this area been uh, tested nicely as uh, resistance previously a couple of times here and uh, many times here as well so this is a level of interest at least and uh, we should keep an eye on that now the look of this push to the downside that we had here it looks very strong and uh, seems like uh, the bears are uh, taking control again but as i told you uh, keep an eye on this level because it could be only a um, after this break could be a retest and a uh, bounce from this area so watch this level if this level hold as support we may see a continuation to the upside otherwise any break below last week's lows uh, from this area here we may look for a continuation to the downside sterling looking uh, also bearish um, looking on the daily time frame after this double top we had a break of the neckline and we had a retest and continuation is ongoing so it is not looking good with a lower high here but keep in mind that there is not much left until we reach uh, this uh, important support level looking left this area is an important support level uh, so it is uh, pretty close but again we had a strong break below this here we have a lower high we have a lower low and we may see continuation so short term i'm expecting continuation to the downside here especially after this uh, retest and uh, break to the downside once again and i think at least uh, we're gonna see a retest of this area next week on this market before any bounce to the upside now if we see a break below this support here that would be um, a strong signal for the bears that they may keep pushing to the downside so keep an eye on this level if broken we may see a retest of these areas guys and this is a pretty important support uh, down here so um, you really need to keep an eye on that level usd jappy uh, looking on the daily time frame it start looking like we may have some kind of bottom here uh, especially after this strong impulse another uh, retest and a higher low and uh, there was a attempt for uh, continuation now 108 still a, a key um, resistance level up here still it is not broken but uh, it could be uh, some kind of uh, build up for a breakout here so we have this strong impulse correction another impulse that actually broke above previous high and now we are inside another correction so if this correction got broken to the upside we may see continuation higher and maybe a break above 108 so as soon as 108 is broken we start looking for 109 109 as a possible level of interest and uh, this monthly r1 up here okay so uh, if uh, there is break here look for continuation if it fails to break higher then we may get a rotation back down toward 107 and um, anything is between in between um, is or gonna be probably noise only so 107 108 109 those are the levels that we should be watching on this market usd chief um, looking on the daily time frame we see that uh, the 200 moving average got tested uh, three times and failed to break higher but there was no new lows uh, that been made yeah we're still inside uh, this is the most important uh, range we have right now and as far as that is not broken anything in between could happen here so uh, keep an eye on that range guys um, this uh, is the range i'm talking about uh, this is the bottom of it 
this up here is the top of it so uh, anything is in between is uh, gonna is very possible that you may see a choppiness and stuff like that so um, here in between I don't like this market so I would say wait for a retest of the top look for a possible sell or wait or for a retest of the bottom look for a possible buy until we have a break out of it anything in between here it could get very very choppy as we had here uh, so it is not so uh, funny to trade such a market so better to wait for those edges and trade them in my opinion usd cad uh, i would say the same about this market we have the top of the range up here the bottom of the range is down here anything in between uh, it could be very choppy as you see here we have a lower low then you have a lower high then you have another lower low and higher uh, higher high so the market keep going um, uh, without any uh, uh, level of structure and uh, when you have no major levels of structure you end up getting this choppiness so even here I would say keep an eye on this support keep an eye on this resistance try to buy the low or try to sell the high until we have some kind of breakout when and if the market break out of this range then it would be much easier and you will have more healthy trend to work with as for now wait for those levels and play those levels only uh, that would be my advice for you Aussie USD um, still um, could continue to the upside since we had a break above previous high on the daily time frame but it fails to continue since Thursday and Friday was a, a push to the downside but all in all if we look at this structure we are still in a uh, bullish structure with higher highs and higher lows the only thing that we did not get a continuation here that is a bit worrying so uh, next week if this market managed to uh, break higher here above this structure then we may see continuation to the upside on this market otherwise if it fails to make a new high i'm afraid we may get another rotation back to the downside to the to test this bottom down here and even if that will happen that will not change the daily structure the daily structure is still um, a bullish structure with higher highs and higher lows and now we have some kind of consolidation with a possible fake out here so as i said as far as this support is not taken out this market could continue to the upside and in my opinion the best would be to wait for a retest of this level to try and go long if got tested New Zealand USD same scenario we're still ranging inside this range here you see it clearly on the daily time frame there is nothing else to do here than sell uh, sell the high by the low on this market until we have a break out of the range yeah um, even on this one anything in between it gonna be choppy so it's better to wait for uh, the top to be tested to try a sell or you wait for the bottom to be tested here to try a buy when and if the breakout happen let's say the market goes above this level and give you a breakout then you look for a retest and continuation and hopefully uh, a better trending market to come if that would be the case okay so for now we have an impulse retest continuation and then we are inside a consolidation and when you have consolidations like this the best way to play it is to uh, buy low sell high and wait for that breakout to happen so uh, yeah guys that was it for today thanks a lot see you next week bye bye